welcome to vlog. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas sweat they past us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. So I literally just got out my um, last class she was up so early, like so freaking early, but um, I'm gonna go to Kai's house because I have to go pick up a contract like for business purposes, but after that I'm gonna do something to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna first do, but we'll see. But yeah, first day of that class is pretty good and I really, really like her, she's black, so we love that. And then it's like advertising and branding and stuff, but she said that she also like studies um, black influencers. So yeah, you know, I had to go talk to her. Let me show you this. And the only reason I'm vlogging right now in public is because it's so as hell and nobody's scared. So I'm like, see. But yeah, I gotta get uncomfortable. It's just really hard. But these people don't give a fuck about me anyways. They don't want me, they don't give. My second first day was great. I like my other two professors as well. I don't think I'm gonna have to change or switch any of my classes. And yeah, that class that I had just now was pretty big. And I was surprised because it's late as hell, but it's a big class. So yeah, I don't know if I like that or not, but I guess I'll see how it goes. Hey her style, who's this? Alright y'all, so my hair, I'm not even familiar with y'all, is not like perfect because my front toe I think is a little over bleached. So my part not really giving straight vibes, but I did change my hair into the side part this morning. I didn't even show y'all me getting ready because I don't want to say like I was rushing or like it was super hectic, but it kind of was because in half a mile, um, the destination is on I was like right. trying to check my US assignments and stuff like that. So. Mass communications. Okay. Really, nigga? But yeah, y'all see I got the black man talking to him, period. So I'm on my way to my journalism class. Um, this is Journalism 291. It's like a writing class. Literally, she had an assignment and she told us that, like, what was that? Wednesday? No, Thursday when I went to her. She was like, um, yeah, you got some assignments due before next class. So I'm thinking, you know, it's due before next class. So I did it this morning and it's like overdue. And I'm like, well, bitch, you said before class. So I'm going to ask her, like, hey, you know, are we allowed to, you know, it's cool. I turned it in before class, but... But um, yes, yeah, 8-12, it's Tuesday morning, if I didn't say that. Um, so I only have my Tuesday, Thursday classes today. Uh, I have three classes today, so my 8-39-45 class. Then I have 11 40 12 class. And then a 1-15-2, uh, no, one fifteen 15 uh, two twenty five 25 something like that. I think I got that, no, it's not on. Proceed to the route. What the fuck you mean proceed to the route? quarter mile, the death <laughs> And I have no idea why I'm on my phone because literally my camera is in the back and I'm pretty sure I have a charge battery. But I'll switch later on. I was just trying to get out of the house and make sure I get there on time. I'm definitely trying to vlog for y'all, but at the same time, you know, I gotta remember why I'm here. I'm not from school, so yeah. I might not be able to pick up the camera all the time or, you know, give my full devotion to it, but I'm definitely trying to take y'all with me as much as possible. So yeah. Oh yeah, my outfit cute today, y'all. Let me show my outfit. I totally did not even show my outfit. I got on like a little green tank top and some denim shorts. Nothing much, but definitely more cute than what I had on yesterday. When I was like on campus yesterday, I seen some girls in some cute outfits. I was like, I wanna be cute. So I got kinda cute today. I didn't even put on like jewelry and all that stuff because like I said, I was rushing. Okay, this edge is like a hell no. So we're just gonna leave that right there. And I didn't even get a hot comb like I really wanted to because I was like running out of time and stuff. Nah, for real, this nigga, um, I'm so mad. What the fuck are y'all doing? These people is all the way in the road and they in the wrong lane. Like, what are you doing? I kid y'all not, I could've went. Had this nigga move. He in a whole wrong lane. He pissing me off, that's what you're doing. Just pissing me off at this point. Cause why the fuck would you do that dumb shit? You in the way. But yeah, um, I'll see y'all when my road rage is over and then I have class. And let's pray that my professor takes my assignment because if not, my first assignment is late and she doesn't take late work, so I'm just doing my first assignment. Okay, buddy, so I'm out of class. You can see my hair got, oh, my hair got way bigger. Way bigger. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do, do another hot compass, but yeah. 
So I got in my first class. I was like, um, so can you accept my assignment? Because I was just said it was doing for class. And she was like, oh yeah, you did come in late that day. We'll talk after class. Basically, she was like, she let me slide because I was late the first day. So I'm actually glad that I was late the first day because it ended up helping me in the long run. And I just really didn't want to start off the year that bad. Like, I know it was only, it was only 10 points, but who the fuck trying to like mess up my first assignment? So yeah, I'm just sitting in the car right now because I'm trying to, I'm going to set up my AirPods because I decided I'm going to stay parked here all day instead of trying to find parking by the hip building because that shit is just too fucking stressful. I'm just going to walk over um, and that way I can, you know, listen to music or whatever. So that's what I'm trying to get you set up. Okay, so hopefully you should work. Obviously, I can't set them up and be recording, so I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I'm walking to the lab. Well, I don't even know what I'm walking to. I think I'm walking to the hip building. And I got a Starbucks inside, so I'm gonna probably get Starbucks because I still haven't eaten breakfast yet. But I did set up my AirPods. And it's like a 10 minute walk, so. I'm still like, I'll show y'all when I get to Starbucks. I don't even know I'm gonna order. I think I'm gonna order for sure. Yeah, I got 
I really could probably just buy some too because I have bundles home that I'm going to use but they were old and I was like but I'm cutting them so I can't use those but whatever that's not even what I'm really excited to show y'all so first thing I thought that he was in the store but he had like a van thing outside of the store as I showed y'all inside of the store were a bunch of cute clothes black on again and honestly like I feel like Fast fashion is definitely like a, a moral dilemma for me because you know I study fashion and retail and stuff like that. But if I'm gonna be buying fast fashion, I'd rather buy it from my like, own business. So, um, look at her car. Why are you getting the car? Well, her thing is called Land Fashion. So that I'm like, I'm charging because my phone keeps cutting off in the middle of me talking. I hope none of my other students like that. But um, yeah, I also did some conversations with her screen. I mean, I put her name or her store or whatever on the screen. But yeah, it was super cute. Would definitely recommend to check out with her if you're in the area. I know me personally, especially being in college, you need a lot of outfits. And me, I'm the type of person like, yeah, I understand it might be a last minute outfit, but that I mean, it can't be cute. So for her to have a shop like that, like, I wish I knew she had a shop the other day. I would have went there. But um, yeah, she was really cute really cool really nice love her shop and that would be a perfect place for like you know little last minute outfits and i got two little pieces from there i got this shirt because it's a corset and i love corsets and it was on sale it was only ten dollars y'all so yeah and it goes with my jordans so yeah i'll be wearing this so far because i want her for um for stop being hot and then i got this black um you've probably seen it before it's like this black and it's like you go all the way down and I'm wearing this with some like this so that's what I'm finished right now I'm not gonna go get in a shower I'm not even gonna really like nasty or nothing but that's the easiest way for me to take off my wig so I'm gonna go hop in the shower get this wig off wash my hair I'm not gonna be showing y'all that I know y'all probably might wanna see it I already did a video kinda recently where I showed y'all me washing my hair two hours later Okay, baddies, so I'm sorry I haven't been like chatting with y'all that much. I am literally so overwhelmed. It's 2 15 and I am not like on the premises yet. Um, I'm gonna be late for class pretty sure because I still have to park and walk to the building because you know there's not like parking right outside the building right now. So I look really cute, but it just like took me a long time to get ready and I don't think I'm gonna be in class on time. I'm really not, but um, I guess it is what it is, at least when everybody stares at me for being a late girl, I'll be cute. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, I didn't finish putting on my accessories and I don't even have no lip gloss on me, so I don't even know if I'm gonna take pictures on campus or not. I feel so dressed up and I know people are gonna stand at me like, where does this bitch think she's going at? I am all over the place and yeah, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> that's all, that's only I can explain it. Y'all made it in the lines. Look at me. Okay. Alright, so I got a paper parking, so I'll probably see y'all in class or else we're close. Later. Okay, baby, so, um, I was in the room for my second class. I didn't show y'all in between because in between, I went to my damn car to make sure she didn't get told to get enough ticket, and I didn't, so, yeah. But, um, I'm still at school because I'm waiting for Rodney to come to take me some pictures. Like, I'm not interested in waiting. Class is new. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that. That's cute. Yeah, I'm just going to lie. This is the same place that I was at when I was 40 centers. So, yeah. I like that smoke in the car. I like that smoke. It's just going to get on my juice in my face. And I'm going to get you out of my clothes. I'm going to go like a lot. Yeah, this is what you want to put in here. Oh, this is This shit that would be going so far to get in your heart. I'm going to check my outfits. I'm going to wear a cute. I'm going to show you my outfits. This is what it's giving. 
real classy vibe. I put on, I don't know if I told y'all because I was looking at my house. But when I was getting on my clothes, I went like a classy vibe. Oh, I didn't want to go in my shirt. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. I'm not going to my shirt. I'm so, so conscious, y'all, but hope y'all get better with vlogging. Yeah, I'm not too quiet anymore. Hey, y'all, I'm going to So what had happened was your girl went to go take pictures and y'all seen that I was at the library where well, your girl stayed at the library while I was waiting on Rodney and I set my freaking keys down. So after I take my pictures, you know, I go to go home, bitch ain't got her keys. So long story short, your girl had me, Rodney, and Kayla, another friend on the campus looking for my keys for over an hour and then we came back and left it was at the library i was so glad nobody stole them because they were literally in plain sight but yeah um that is why there's a big gap right here your girl lost her keys so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one <laughs> Wow, yes. Sir. You don't need to whisper that he loves you. And he don't do it. I deserve your whole name, Mr. Alex, bro. That's how I love you. I love you, Xavier. Not at all. You're not allowed in me. You took my love. You took my love. You took my love. You took my love. <laughs> so good morning you guys it is thursday morning and i am freaking excited well i'm not really i'm not gonna lie but i just haven't thought about it i was like oh my god today's my last day of classes so yeah i'm just glad that i won't have so, so much of my day taken up by school so yeah um it is currently 8 19 my first class starts at 8 30 if you guys recall correctly or whatever um i did leave my house late again today but I told myself yesterday, I was like, you have to start picking out your outfits the day before because if not, you're going to be late every day. And last night, I don't even remember, like, I kind of remember laying down, but I really don't. So I just woke up and I was like, oh, damn, you know, <laughs> I meant like have my outfit outfit down and everything. But yeah, and I meant to wake up early as well, too, but that just didn't happen. Six o'clock came and I was like, hey, go ahead and turn it off, baby. Like, I'm not getting up. Like, that shit is so fucking dead. But um, yeah, so I'm on my way to my journalism um, 291 class. This is a journalism writing class. I don't think I had anything to do. I might should have read, but I didn't. So <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at right now. I got a cute little outfit today. I'm probably sure y'all when I'm outside because I don't think I could really get the full gist of it with me sitting down or whatever. But um, yeah, I feel cute today. Minus me. Oh shit. Minus me forgetting to do. I mean, I didn't really forget to do it because I mean, I definitely curled it or whatever, but um, I just forgot to touch it up and like check it. Because once I took off my edge scarf, I was like, oh, I have to just cut my hair, but that's not true at all. After my first class, I'm going to meet with Kaya. Um, Kaya is my cousin slash friend slash um, boss as friend. Like, and she's just a boss ass bitch. Like, that's my girl. I She's one of the few people that it's a peer that I can talk to about business stuff and like actually understands where I'm coming from. Like we both share the same passion, the same ambition, and like we just really like get each other and we support each other's dreams. And you know, I am finna launch a business, Batty Blunts. If y'all haven't already heard or followed, whatever, please make sure y'all go follow and support that page if y'all are interested in my products. Um, I know my products don't apply to everybody, but if you need those products use those products then shop with me duh but um yeah so anywho she is designing my website for my brand and so we're meeting just to get like clarification on what i want this is gonna be my first time ever having like any type of business um meeting or anything like that so that's super exciting for me and i just love the vibes independent work which I prefer and basically when I be finished writing but that's okay so I'm just thinking it's like five minutes before class would end but yes yeah, so I'm gonna let it go and Kaya now she's like a nice one so yeah but I think 
it's kind of far, so hopefully I don't be on her waiting on me or whatever. I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in months. And that's my girl, like, I swear, you can have friends and not see her. Or can be your closest friends, and that's really what we got, so yeah, I'm excited to see her. And see how I'm well, excited to turn out and just everything, so yeah. I'll show y'all how I get to the breakfast. I'm so dirty. Alright, I got a little care like y'all do. <laughs> well, I got egg. I'm at Baja Benedict or whatever. Wait till they start getting down since we're exhausted. So I'm currently on my way back to campus. Um, me and Kaya. Um, I wouldn't really say we finished our breakfast date, but I had to leave for class. Um, I have like a lot of homework to do as far as business is concerned because I have to get um, this checklist completed so that she can, you know, complete my website. And that is, you know, one of my biggest priorities. When I tell you I have so much going on, it's so much. It's like Instagram, YouTube, business, school, and social life. And it's like now my social life, um, and I don't say this in a bad way because I'm so happy with this. My social life basically, basically just used to be me and my boyfriend hanging out all the time. And now it's like, no, you're in college. Like, you're in college, and so it's like parties and oh hey do i want to go have a session with this person or something like that like it's a lot going on and so i'm very much overwhelmed it's like i don't have enough time for anything i'm very overwhelmed um it's just a lot going on and i'm not mad at it at all like these are all blessings like it's a blessing that i have two platforms to post on it's a blessing that i have a business that i'm passionate about and that's about to launch just all of this is a blessing i'm not trying to complain about it I'm so grateful and these are all things that I wanted you know what like at the end of the day these are all things that I signed up for I made a YouTube channel I made Instagram I created a business like these are all things that I I guess you could say put on myself but it's just like I'm just struggling to get a hold of everything you know what I'm saying because I was struggling with Instagram and YouTube before I do a business in the mix so you can just imagine how much I'm struggling now but I'm gonna get it done because all these things are super important to me and I want to succeed with all of them so yeah I figured it out as always just wanted to give y'all an update because I know I've been like kind of popping in and out but it's the reason for that like I'm literally so overwhelmed and it'll just be a lot y'all just give me strength and we'll get through this together and if you're having a stressful week you're not the only one sis we're gonna get through this okay we're gonna get through it we're gonna get what we need to get done and then the weekend what's up I'm so glad I have Fridays off because bro if I did not I'm telling you but yeah I'm hoping Saturday and Sunday, I mean, Sunday, I'm not really going to be, like, partying or anything because there was death in my family, so I'm going to be going home. I just wanted to check in with y'all before I go to my next class because I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to film. What's up, man? That sounds so weird to see because I always say that they are. It's Friday. Oh, my God! Nah. Green and salt. Green and That's disgusting. I am grown. It is freaking exciting. I look like yesterday. I don't know, but Lindsay came to see me. Bought me clothes. It's just not that. That equals $25.89. But I paid $28.88 for the vibrator. So that's the difference of. This is so humiliating! Oh, y'all yeah, need to show y'all. Save our next few hours. And we can't even So just be sleep now. They are so cute. They so cute. They watermelon. I like that. They got watermelon on it. And it's really smooth. And I'm not working on it. Much, much later. Got some fingers. Bone accident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real gold. Hmm? Hmm? You say real what? Real gold. Yeah, size 24 games. Okay. Y'all just the score. Uh, what is that called? Turkey? 
You know what the tag is? I think two strikes in a row or something like that. That's a good one. But now you about to be like 60. No, I ain't gonna be 60. Get another sky, honey. Okay, honey. I believe in him. Period. Period. <laughs> so that would be a turkey, I think. What the fuck is a turkey? I know I heard that before with bowling, I swear to God. I don't know what you heard of that. I ain't never heard of a turkey. I know what a turkey is. Get that camera out of here. I got Skype. Why can't they do it like that? Why did I add any points right now? Got it. Huh? Okay, Betty. So, your girl, um, what time did I leave? Like, I basically left like 6 49 ish, and then I had to get gas. Um, I'm on my way now. I'm gonna be there late because the dinner starts at 8 o'clock so I told Jada just to go ahead and order my food for me and then you know hopefully my food will be like out by the time I get there so like I can still eat with them or whatever but yeah I'm not tripping about it because like I said like I can just order my food or whatever um I'm really excited because I just really want to like let loose and have fun it's been a long week so you <laughs> girl ready to turn up but um I'm just gonna show you guys when I get there I didn't even have time to like get this gift wrap and everything so I'm gonna have to debate it depends on what time I get there um if I go and get it wrapped and stuff like that I know she's gonna go crazy because she didn't even know like what I got her and she kept asking like for months because I bought this shit like months ago because I wanted to make sure she had it for her birthday so yeah I'm excited to show her her gift and stuff like that and just to see her and spend time with her and like I said get lit and have fun hope I can take some pictures because my outfit is cute but um we'll see so yeah I'll see y'all when I get there I'm trying to focus on this road you know on the interstate and shit so yeah toodles so guys, I am here. Um, I'm literally just about to fix my baby hairs because I did not do them before I left the house because I had to lay down my wig again. I don't know why, I just was like, let me just get it, like the wig to lay down first and then I'll worry about that, you know what I'm saying? But um, I am here about 30 minutes late, but fashion be late as always because I mean, I'm up. Like literally the day that I'm not late, we have to throw a fucking celebration because <laughs> I am always late and y'all I promise y'all it's not just like a, I don't care about things I'm late to my own shit like literally if y'all ever invite bubbles to an event please just tell me to come like an hour early maybe then I'll show up time still might not but maybe but yeah so I didn't get a chance to go to the store and I didn't really want to be like super late so I'm just gonna use Jada's gift in the car and give it to her at her house um and I'll still see if I can get some packaging for it but I don't think she's gonna I don't even think she's gonna know what it is, honestly. And, well, I think she's ready, y'all. My burnt mark on my forehead, y'all. I totally burnt my head yesterday. Let me get my purse. And then we out you. Now, I almost forgot my fucking keys in the car. Like, where was I going with no keys? Well, not where was I going, but if somebody was stole my car. Did I tell y'all that I told? Yeah, I did tell y'all that I lost my keys. That's what I said. I tell y'all that I lost my keys. On a fucking egg, like acres big campus. Yeah, I did that dumb shit. And I did not bring my wallet. So I don't have no type of ID or nothing. If I get something for you. Alright, I might change my SD cards. I'll see y'all upstairs. Happy birthday, girl. Thank you. Send me a say hey. Hey. That's what I thought to get. Oh, the 
like, yeah, this is her candle because she is obsessed with her. That's so cute. You can write on it. It got his um, autograph on this side. Wait. Oh, I see. Yeah. Bitch, you really gonna be tripping. <laughs> I'd be like, bitch, I think you're tricky. <laughs> Okay, babe, so it's Saturday morning. I think your girl was highly confused because it is Sunday morning. I don't know why I said it was Saturday, but it is Sunday morning, okay? Um, we got fucked up last night. Me and Jerry took a fucking edible. And I told him, I was good for one shot, but I like knew like that edible had me fucked up, so I didn't take any more shots after that. But um, I already left her house. I am at a donut shop because I never see fucking donut shops. And I love donuts and theirs look really good. So I just want to come try it out. Whatever. Um, I look like shit. I haven't even washed yet, but I just put this ramp on because I didn't want to keep my hot ass tights everywhere. This is such a cute place. Let me show you that. Alright, y'all. So I got a strawberry circus, a peach, and a um, caramel. Apple, so yeah, I'm super excited to try these out. Okay, babe, so um, I'm leaving the restaurant now. Um, oh my god, I'm just oh, that's so scary. I'm so happy with life right now, like, literally, for me at least, because I come from a small town. I'm so happy that I just get to just do what the fuck I want now. It's just like, I don't know, it feels like ever since I've been in college, like, I just need to do like. My mama never told me I couldn't do much. Like, my mama is so nice and she gives me a lot of freedom. But it's just like being able to do what you want to do and being in a place where you could do that. Like, I always had that freedom, but I never really had the opportunity. So now I have the opportunity. If I want to go and get cute fucking coffee, I can do that. If I want to go and get damn, uh, my feet ate my fucking fish, I can go do that. If I want to go to a fucking billion dollar business and, you know, go talk to their CEO. You know, my school can give me opportunities to do that. Like, I don't know, it's just so many more opportunities in college towns. And um, going to that donut shop, I know y'all probably think like, what the place is shocking my, but I just love doing shit like that. Like, just going and do what I want. And I feel like a lot of times, like, I don't be thinking like my friends or whoever want to like do stuff like that with me, and they probably do, but it's just nice. And I'm, especially more so now, I'm like, if you want to do something, do it. I don't care if you gotta do it by yourself. I don't care how it might look or whatever. I'm just gonna do what I want to do now. And so, I, you know, I was looking for food this morning. I'm like, you know what? They don't want to go get donuts, probably. Like, who the fuck wants to do that other than bubbles? But guess what? I'm going to still go. Because if that's something I want to do, then I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to live my life for me. So, yeah, that was just something nice to do. And honestly, I'm so glad I did it. Like, at first, I was like, girl, you know you got to go ahead. Go all the way back home. Still got to drive back to Columbia. And I'm already like behind schedule and stuff, but I was like, you know what? I haven't had anything to eat. I love donuts. Like, when am I gonna have another opportunity to, you know, do that? And I'm so glad that I did, y'all, because those people in there were so freaking nice. Like, he was just so kind. He was like, do you know, like, have you ever been here before? And I'm like, no. And you know, he was actually like having a conversation with me. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm not even from here. I'm from USC. He's like, oh, my wife's from Lexington. Like, he actually like had a conversation with me. And I don't know, I just felt very, very, very welcome there. So if y'all live in Clemson or if y'all ever visit Clemson, definitely go to their donut shop. Like, the customer service alone was A1. He even opened the damn door for me when I left. Like, that type of small town hospitality cannot be replicated. Like, you can't get that shit anywhere else. And that's why I'm glad, like, that I actually went. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't get that shit other places. So, yeah. But um, I'm going to see you guys when I get home. 